Joining us now from Newton, Massachusetts, Dr. Michael Bodden, the former chief medical examiner for New York City and a man who has helped with a number, a number of high profile cases, including the trial of O.J. Simpson, the death of actor John Belushi, and I could go on. Dr. Bodden, good to see you tonight. So let's talk Good about to see that. You, Megan. Uh, Daryl Parks and I said think that, you got it just right. Just, yeah, go what ahead. you said now was just right. How so? About if we can't tell if the hands were up or down and whether all the bullets were from the front or maybe one of the bullets could have been from behind. That we need more information about. One of the bullets, bullets could have been from him. behind, but f at least f he was shot six times. You're saying the autopsy did show that five of the six definitely were shot. Cut. At, at Michael Brown face to face. Well, the the two in the top of the head was the top of the head and the face were uh, with his head bent down a little bit, front to front. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. the arm since the arm is movable, 180 degrees. Some uh, some gunshot wounds in the arm could be from front or back since the arm can be turned around. Mm -hmm. So it's it's and one we'll is know not that clear. Better but after we see. But the majority of the wounds, according to your examination, occurred when the men were facing face each face. other. Okay. Yes. Okay. We don't know yes. how far apart they were, correct? Uh, they were more than two feet apart because there's no gunshot residues on the body. Okay. And the, what the park, what the, what Mr. Parks is saying, and the, and the Brown supporters are saying, is because the fatal wound was went in through the top of Michael Brown's head. That is proof positive that he was down like this, surrendering. That he was in a surrendering posture. That is that true, or is that not true? It, it, it could be that way, but it needn't be that way. All it means, it, what it means is that the head was bowed down toward the shooter. The shooter, uh, standing up, struck, uh, had the gun pointed at mm -hmm. the back of the head, at, at the top well, of the let head. Let me ask you something that may discharge. be a dumb question, which is he, the, Michael Brown is getting shot. You said that that was the fatal shot, the one that hit him up here. So he's getting That's shot. Right. We know that by the officer. The bullets are going into his body. Doesn't it seem obvious that, of course, he would probably be I mean, when you're getting shot, you're about to go down. He's, he had been shot several times. Couldn't he have just been falling over? Yes, absolutely. Yes, that could be what happened. That's why we need all the forensic evidence from uh, what the shirt, the examination of the shirt and the, uh, will be important. The toxicology is important. The in initial struggle in the car, if there was a struggle, should be able to be identified by examination of the inside of the car. That becomes very important for mm -hmm. forensic evidence. And he could be standing still, he could be backing up, or he can be going forward as far as the autopsy is concerned. That's but just, the face I mean, what, what I hear you saying is the, the autopsy results are just not a slam dunk for either side. It's going to come down to eyewitness and other testimonials and evidence. But let me ask you this. Th yes. So the, the, yes. the, uh, for the, the drug report, the toxicology report, yes. reportedly shows marijuana in Michael Brown's system. I mean, is that even relevant given marijuana today? I mean, marijuana is legal in several states now. I mean, is it is that relevant or might this have been some laced marijuana that would have made him act crazy? Uh, I mean, how where is that going to go? The, the marijuana itself is irrelevant to what happened. If it's combined with other drugs, it's so hard to evaluate uh, leaks that are not substantiated by an official report. If there were some PCP or amphetamine e ecstasy involved also, that could be uh, a factor in his behavior. But the marijuana by, uh, by itself would not be. Dr. Biden, it's always interesting talking to you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Megan.